Hello, this is Erin with the Joy and Pens and Paper, and today I am going to do some swatches of the current uh, sage green inks within my collection. In this category, I have identified six inks, and two of them I have bottles of. The other four are samples. Um, let me just check real quick. One, two, two of them have shimmer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swatch the two. Oh, and I'm wearing kind of a sagey green top. That's interesting. <laughs> um, I'm gonna swatch the two bottles first, and then I will move over to the samples, keeping the shimmer samples for the end so as not to contaminate the water. So the first one that I have is by Birmingham Pen Company and it's called Antique Sepia. Now this is a really interesting ink that has a little chromo shading uh, properties to it. And I am using, and look at that. So it goes down green, it has a little bit of a pink slash tan-ish hue to it as it dries. Let me just do a little dabbing so that you can see the shading. Uh, and I'm using a Kakamori Brass Nib Dip Pen. And uh, one of my favorite features about this pen is you can get a good amount of line variation depending on how you angle it compared to the paper. So without further ado, this is by Birmingham. Yep. Penco. And again, it's called Antique Sepia. Over on the side, just some lines. Now I have personally found Birmingham Pen Company inks to be very well behaved. They're not too lubricated, they're not too dry. Um, they have really beautiful shading to them. Um, so I very much enjoy using inks by Birmingham Pen Company. It's actually something I have to be very thoughtful not to buy too many. They do not currently sell samples. So in order to try their inks, you either need to know somebody that will send samples or purchase a bottle. So far of the bottles that I have purchased, I have liked them all very much. So not necessarily against purchasing the bottle, but it just can get a little out of hand. All right, um, this next one actually matches my shirt very closely, wow. So this is, so I'm just pausing on the steep spacing. This is wearing gold. Mad Hatter. So wearing gold does a lot of inks that are um, the names are inspired by literary works. So this one was inspired by Alice in Wonderland and they have a whole line of Alice in Wonderland inks. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful kind of grayish green 
and as the antique sepia dries more you can see that kind of pinky tanny blush coming out all right so the next one is a sample that i received from ink journal or ink flight and it's by van diemen's and it's called european european honey bee eater wing so they did a whole birds of a feather series and they have a handful or so birds and um, inks that go along with different body parts of those birds. So compared to Mad Hatter, I would call this a little bit more maybe sea foam. Um, All right, so Van Diemen's, Van Diamonds, Van Diemen's. European honey bee eater wing wing or wing wing or uh, singular. One, two, three. So I've inked up one pen with this ink and it was a Laban Rosa. And with that pen, which I then ended up sending it back to the vendor that I purchased it from, and they replaced the converter, but the ink flow was not great. And it, it was similar to, or it gave me the impression that it was a dry ink. I would like to ink it up again with something else it, with a different um pen just to see if that is true uh this is a sample from goulet pen company oh i love that color this is also very similar to mad hatter so this is color verse Oh, I like that color a lot. I might need to do a green month and just really explore and enjoy all my different greens. All right, and the last two are shimmers. I'm gonna start off with a sample that I received from Ink Journal or Ink Flight. And this is Wearing Goal King Lear. So this has a pink shimmer to it. This does lean a little heavier on the gray side. I 
checking to make sure I have space for the last one and I do all right so the last one and as this dries you'll see the shimmer oops is Vinta Ibid and this is from Van Ness I believe actually um, this is one of my first either my actual first or within the first two or three orders from Van Ness, I picked out this Vinta ink, along with a couple of other inks by Vinta. And I have, they're just so beautiful that I haven't put them in a pen because I don't wanna have to buy a whole bottle. But look, that is gorgeous. Just dabbing to get a little um, shading pop. So like I said, this is called Vinta. And this, or this is by Vinta, and this specific one is called Ebid. Look at all that shimmer. I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up, but it's very shimmer heavy where the pen is touching the paper. Lots of blue shimmer right there. Gorgeous. All right. So here are currently as of December of 2023 my sagey green inks and actually let me just make sure yeah that would not go into that one um i do have some new samples or new inks in my collection so what i might do is once i have gone through swatching all of my color families i may go in and add those inks individually into their um accompanying page associated page uh, words are not my friend right now so um, that are those are these are my inks so far let me just show a little bit of that shimmer look at that absolutely beautiful oh I love them all so much that would be a beautiful palette for a month all right, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next ink swatching video. Bye.